What is up, everybody? Coming at you live from the road, from the ROADS. Whoa. <laughs> Common problem you're gonna see. The way I got this thing cherry rigged in my, in my car here. Actually, that's probably a better spot right there. Anyways, uh, just coming at you with a little Michigan primary update. These roads are shat, boy. That's one of the big uh, issues as far as what the governors are talking about or the governor candidates are these roads in Michigan which are completely uh, terrible I'm trying to watch my language but they are about as bad as I've ever seen anywhere ever um, we have really bad freeze thaw cycles here in Michigan and we do not use a good road building system whatsoever because Ohio which have a fairly similar freeze thaw cycle they tend to manage their stuff really good um, I know a little bit of a thing or two about the construction, um, not specifically roads, but of the construction industry and working with uh, states versus like Michigan versus states like Ohio. Ohio, much better to work with, I can tell you that. I'm not going to go into any more details, but uh, the roads are a big issue. And it's all about how we're going to get taxed even more in this heavy tax, uh, typically Democrat state. Uh, we went red for Trump, thank, thank the Lord, but um, yeah, we still get taxed very heavy and it's a, uh, a typically blue state. Um, we have a Republican governor now that sucks, his name is Rick Schneider, and uh, <clears throat> he's horrible. Uh, you know, he gets blamed for poisoning Flint. I wouldn't go that far, but it's definitely his fault because he installed an emergency manager in several cities to manage these badly run Democrat states. they are cities that should have just failed on their own. I'm a big proponent of if you, you know, you caused it, you deal with it. If uh, Rick Schneider had not done what I consider an unconstitutional act, and put an emergency manager in charge of over top of the elected mayor of the town then he could then he would be like well you know hey uh that's what they did and it is what they did and there's tons of other places besides flint that have messed up city water supplies in michigan and it's crazy because if you look at it michigan has all the great lakes around us and another issue that's pretty ridiculous is this son of a thing here I'm on back roads, so, so probably want to see a car. Anyways, um, you know the roads. Everybody's crying about the roads, and they even passed another tax uh, that that we voted for. I can't remember. I, we voted not to do it, and then they just rammed it through anyway, or it's vice versa. Anyways, they they put more taxes on the already ridiculous road uh, car registration fees. If you can hear, like I got low. But I've already, this, this, uh, this state has just terrible roads. I mean, now you got a, I got a, a car that's lowered. That's why these, that's why it's banging so much worse, you know? But, um, the, you gotta basically like dodge and maneuver all the potholes and they're just everywhere. It, it's terrible. And, uh, the MDOT has, you know, done a really bad job as far as I'm concerned with managing the roads. It's terrible. Anyways, going back to the, the the taxes, we're gonna, they're all, who's gonna tax us less to fix the roads that they already have money for? You know, I could go on and on about these Michigan issues, like uh, gambling. I, I don't understand how we have, when I grew up, there wasn't any casinos except for, you know, Indian reservation casinos. And now there's casinos all over the place. I guess once you just pay off the mafia government, you can open up a casino, you know. You can't do it without a billion, uh, you know, who knows, who knows? There's casinos all over Michigan now in non-Indian reservation areas. And that is, it's garbage. I mean, I'm all pro casino. Like, I don't think you should have to be on a reservation and I don't think you should have to pay off the government for it. Um, so I'm kind of just laissez-faire on that issue, but I think it's ridiculous that they made a law. It's like, well, you can't open a casino unless you pay us off so high, so much money to the government for the roads or for the schools. Like when I was growing up, there wasn't Keno. There was just the Michigan State Lottery. Now there's Keno and that goes to the schools, but the schools are broke. So we have to increase more taxes. 
this it's a terrible blue state uh, as far as that goes all these things i'm not opposed to kino i'm just opposed like why can't the kino be run out of the bar and why can't the bar owner get something out of that besides a small portion you know it's bs like and the kino payouts aren't even as good as they are in vegas they're they're substantially less so like when you're playing kino it's like a losing situation you know some people get lucky here and there but for the most part you're gonna lose your butt to the casino people I think I find that morally wrong uh, again down for gambling down for all that stuff just not where it's you know fucked out by the mafia government because that's what it is like it used to be the mafia run the numbers now it's the government running the numbers you know what I'm saying it's wrong so um, Anyways, as you can see from the title, the only two people I'm going to talk about real quick are John James for U.S. Senate and uh, Patrick Colbeck, who I'm going to go ahead and endorse for governor as of right now. Those are two pre preliminary, uh, you know, investigations. Uh, I tend to lean towards John James um, more than Sandy Pensler. And I tend to lean towards Patrick Colbeck more than Brian Kelly or Bill Schuette. Bill Schuette, um, this goes back to the Ron Paul days when I was attending a lot of Republican functions and trying to get Ron Paul um, elected. Bill Schuette, there was some, uh, the Ron Paul people for sure don't like him because of a lot of uh, insider kind of stuff he was doing to um, lessen Ron Paul's chances. I can't remember what the specific incident was, but I do know that name, and I do know that it is absolutely from uh, the Ron Paul era. He was trying to obstruct something, so, you know, I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know Shooty is, even though he's endorsed by Trump, okay, I, I get that part, I'm a guy for sure, but um, Trump's not always right, and my, I watched the debate, uh, the Michigan debate on YouTube, and uh, I can I should put that in the description. I'm driving right now, of course, so I'll have to come back and edit and drop that in. But I should drop the Michigan um, the Michigan debate in there so you can see it. it's a stage with all the candidates, Republican and Democrat, in the same. It was kind of a funny. I've never seen a debate like that where it was both parties on all the primary candidates at once. There was a separate Democrat one. I'm wondering separate Republican one. I haven't seen that one. I saw that there was a Democrat one, but I didn't watch it, of course, so I'm not really interested in that. Definitely not going to vote for a Democrat, period. End of statement. Um, I need a, something to, uh, to block this better. I just don't have a good spot in my car to do this. Um, I need one of those window suction cuppy things, but... I'm out in the sticks right now, that's why I figured I'd run a vid. Earlier I kind of blocked it up in another car that's very similar to this one, and it worked okay, but this one's a little funky. You have to keep adjusting it, but <laughs> it just keeps falling for these GD roads and my low pros, man. Okay, so back at it. Um, John James for U.S. Senate. I really uh, think he's all right. I don't think he's great. He didn't endorse him at first. He, voted, he admittedly voted for Ted Cruz um, at the primary, which I was, uh, you know, woke enough to vote for Trump in the primary, even though I thought at that time I may go libertarian. But I, Michigan has an open primary, which is really cool. That's a good thing about the state. It has an open primary. So you don't have to run as a Republican or Democrat. You can just uh, walk into the voting as long as you're registered. You walk into the voting uh, booth or the vote station and you say Republican ticket or Democratic ticket and they give you a slip because it's not the general election of course so all it has is you know it's a primary and that's the whole point but uh, you don't have to register is what I'm trying to get across you can just flat out tell them you know hey I'm going this way or that way at the I think every every state should do that, and I didn't even know that all the other states were any other way. The, there's plenty of closed primary states, and Jesus, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Lord, didn't mean to take your name in vain. The thing is driving me nuts, especially with all the uh, potholes. It's just insane. But you can't even. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Probably a terrible video for that. I'm very sorry. 
I was kind of stuck that thing up there and I thought it would help me, but the roads are just awful, man. Everywhere. They're terrible. I mean, Mike's probably not the best example either because it's so low pro, but anyway, we're going with John James. I'm about to be where I'm at. So John James for U.S. Senate, look it up. I might do a better video later when I'm not driving now it's zoomed into my neck. John James and Patrick Colbeck. Check them out. Check out the uh, Michigan. Uh, I will uh, put a link there. But check them out. See ya. Turn on the son of a. Shark. Stop. There we go. <laughs> Terrible video. All right. See you guys. Peace.